Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre. Uh, the old Git Reacts reviews and off time reminiscences. Almost forgot there why I'm here. Uh, uh, and welcome to another blast from my past. Um, way back when, when this came out, 77, 78, can't remember for sure. Um, but um, first heard by me on John Peel. And um, I didn't buy it straight away because uh, in those days you went into your record shop and looked in their collection. And if it wasn't there, then so be it. Um, I was too young really to start going for mail order sort of things. My pocket money would not stretch to the postage, let alone the actual uh, record itself. So, um, but nonetheless, it's always uh, been there at the back of my mind. Um, and I subsequently found it in a second-hand re record shop years and years later. Uh, in fact, it was actually past the point where I'd actually got a, a record player. Uh, and so... Um, I bought it and couldn't listen to it, uh, not for a while, until I subsequently got another turntable. Uh, but there you go. So let's stop waffling, let's start listening. So why have I chosen this one today? Um, well, it um, occurred to me um, when I was doing one or two other um, punky type songs that um, when I was very young and first punk first came out, so first wave UK punk, uh, that one of the descriptives that was attached to it very often was snotty. Uh, and then I sort of looked at what I've uh, reacted to, reviewed, reminisced, uh, on this channel so far and there's not a lot of snot flying about there's plenty of uh, gruff vigour and um, loudness and rawness um, but not a lot of snot um, so this one for me if you had to pigeonhole it is snotty so that's why we're here can't beat a rock and roll guitar solo i've said before not particularly fond of solos but uh they have their place um and back in the time this was made there was still a, a fair bit of rock and roll type influence in uh, punk rock music um and ripping guitar solos like that um were appreciated by me at the time and are now but um the other thing is it's another punk song which fe uh, features quite a, a heavy, not heavy, a prominent saxophone sound. Uh, and as I mentioned on the X-Ray Specs um, review, uh, 
when UK first wave punk frittered out into the, the more hardcore stuff, I wonder if they had to make room at the Donkey Sanctuary for the uh, saxophone players. I <laughs> So there you go, a little blast from the past and thanks to John Peel for uh, introducing me to that um, on his radio show way back when. Um, yeah, not more to say, short, snotty, um, best played loud as most of that sort of music and much music is um, and um, always tickles when I listen to it. Um, I think these guys um, morphed into psychedelic furs if I remember right. Um, could be wrong, but I seem to think that was the case. But um, anyway, there you go. Clicky box if you like. Catch you all next time. Cheerio.